most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomaso. And welcome in everyone. A quiet start to the day and it's refreshing outside. I know it's not a huge difference overall. Temperatures are still in the mid 60s, but you can feel there's not as much humidity yet. It is building and you know, we've mentioned it over the past couple of days, even going back to the weekend that this heat wave coming from west east across the country would eventually affect our forecast. Well, that forecast begins today. Yesterday's high. This was interesting. Only 82 degrees and it was because of the timing of the rain. I mentioned to Allie here earlier about 430 that, you know, one of the differences was the amount of storm activity we had Monday night into Tuesday and that likely took a lot of the energy away from local storms yesterday and I'll show you where it did rain the heaviest parts of northern Mifflin County, northern Juniata, northern Perry, even far northern Dauphin County, and then this whole stripe here across Lancaster and even Lebanon County too. not really showing up on this map, but there was a serious line of storms that developed just on those county lines and then took off to the northeast and you can see all those yellows and oranges, very heavy rain, a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings too, and we just narrowly missed out yesterday afternoon. So that was around 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. If you were traveling to the east, perhaps maybe you ran into it. But now today, things are much quieter, and the next storm system is about at least 24 hours away. So we get a totally quiet day today. Temperatures across the board more comfortable, 60 to 62 in Lebanon and in York, respectively. How about Lancaster at 66 and still near 70 degrees to our south and southeast? But this is the difference. This is much more manageable in the dew point department. So whether it's upper 50s, low 60s, that is the air that is more tolerable to us to be outside. So a great day to be at the York Fair today. Highs though near 91 degrees and I really do think we stay dry today. Tomorrow is a different story. We will have to watch for that opportunity, that chance for some storms later in the afternoon. Here's the reason why high pressure sitting right over the northeast. That is keeping us dry, but unfortunately now this high is taking more charge. And what that means is that heat, that humidity, temperatures in the upper 90s to near 100 degrees over the central U.S., that's what's moved in our direction. The only storm system to fall, if you look across the entire country, is this one. It's providing showers and storms to Minnesota and the Great Lakes today. In fact, Michigan has a tornado threat today thanks to this area of low pressure. So that's why there's potential, as I said, in the atmosphere heading into Thursday for Thursday's forecast today. No issues. In fact, just some pop up clouds during the day. I really do think we stay dry despite the humidity coming up. Notice late in the day there is that chance over the mountains of seeing a storm or two. That's the next system getting closer. I don't think many of us see that. I'll keep tracking to see if the trends kind of push things in a little bit earlier heading into tonight, but so far that's not the case. Here's the day tomorrow few showers and storms in this model forecast, but I can tell you other models are much more aggressive in bringing some pretty strong storms close to the region. So it's definitely something we'll be watching for. Indeed, there is the heat wave. We've talked about it over and over again, but it's not changing. 96 for tomorrow, 97 for Friday. And Allie, Saturday could even be low 90s, but it's about the timing of the rain. Right now we're mm -hmm. calling for temperatures to kind of peak around 90, but by Sunday, Sunday's going to feel nice. And next cool. week, too, yeah. I know it's moving into the first week of August, and that's typically some of the hottest time of the year. Not so much. Looks pleasant. Low to mid-80s next week. All right. Thank you, Dan. Sure. We'll be right back.